ഡേ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹൗ ആർ യു ഓക്കെ സോ യു ഓൾ ആർ ഫൈൻ റൈറ്റ് സോ ഷാൾ വി സ്റ്റഡി ഓക്കെ സോ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡിങ് റൈറ്റ് നൗ യെസ് വി ആർ സ്റ്റഡിങ് ദ ചാപ്റ്റർ റോസാ പാക്ക് സാറ്റ് സ്റ്റിൽ വിച്ച് ടെൽസ് എ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് ദ സ്ട്രോങ് ബ്ലാക്ക് വുമൻ റോസാ പാക്ക് and how she protested against the unfair rules that prevailed in america and we saw that she protested strongly against the racial discrimination and segregation against the black people that prevailed in america at that time right and she was hailed as the mother of all revolutions right And in today's class, we are going to learn the last two passages of the story Rosa Parks sat still in our textbook. Are you ready? Okay, so we have seen so far about how Rosa protested against the unfair rules, right? And Rosa Parks has now conquered millions of minds and people. she began the fight for the freedom of the black people and she was called the mother of black civil right movement you have to remember that she was called as the mother of black civil right movement okay now we will move on to the last two passages of the story and at first i will read the passages loudly for you you have to listen to me carefully and we will discuss the details later Okay are you ready okay now listen to me okay so it was said rosa park sat still and moved a million minds she began the black american peoples fight for fairness and justice to all human beings americans call her the mother of the black civil rights movement civil rights are the rights of the country citizens Many years before Rosa Parks sat still in that bus something else had happened in another country a man called Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi sat still in a train in South Africa he refused to get off the white passengers threw him out there are many other stories of his courage and of the courage others got from him to fight for their rights Okay so this is all about that have you listened to me carefully okay very good now i will show you a video and do you love to watch videos okay now this is an informatory video and do you know what phrasal verbs are okay some of you are familiar with phrasal verbs okay this video will give you some information or idea about what phrasal verbs are and what is it used for okay are you ready okay phrasal verbs they're very common in spoken and informal english they indicate action they're made up of two parts a verb and a preposition or adverb For example, stand up, sit down. In these phrasal verbs, the adverb or preposition comes directly after the verb. Sometimes the preposition or adverb is placed after the object. For example, put your books away. We can also say put away your books. The order of the object and preposition or adverb can usually be changed unless we are using a pronoun for our object. For example, let's use the pronoun them in place of the books. We say put them away. We cannot say put away them. If using a pronoun as the object of a phrasal verb, it must go between the verb and preposition or adverb The meaning of some phrasal verbs are more obvious they're literal stand together with up means to stand up put with away means to put away But many phrasal verbs are not literal 
They're figurative. The meaning of a phrasal verb can often be something completely different to the base verb. This means that phrasal verbs need to be memorized individually. Take this phrasal verb, make up. The verb make means to build or form something. You could make a pizza. But used in the phrasal verb make up, the meaning is completely different. Make up refers to people forgiving each other. I wanted to make up with my friend after our fight. Here's another phrasal verb, look up. It can be used literally, he looked up in the sky. But the same phrasal verb can be used to mean to search for information in a book or database. He looked up the word in his dictionary. When you come across a phrasal verb you don't know, try looking for clues in the sentence to help you work out what it might mean. You might be surprised how often... Okay students, have you watched the video? Okay, and have you understood what phrasal verbs are? Very good. So, this is all for today and we will discuss more about phrasal verbs and will come up with more examples of phrasal verbs in the next class. Okay, so this is... All for today. Thank you and have a nice day. And you, you, you can try to find some examples for f phrasal verbs when you come to class next day. Okay. So try to find it. Okay.